This is the second of five projects written up by Shelley Tan of Northwestern University's Night Lab. The goal of this project is to have a user guess a number. So the number we're going to guess is between 1 and 100, and I'm going to first show you how it works, and then we'll get into the code. Okay, so it prompts the user with, a, with text, guess a number between 1 and 100. The user enters a number, 50. It says too low, guess again. So I guess a higher number, 75. Too high, guess again. 67, still too high. Try 58. Too high still, 54. Still too high, 52. And we got it in six guesses. So it tells us how many guesses it took us to get it. Then says thanks for playing. We'll run it one more time. It says guess the number one between 1 and 100. And I'm going to put in a letter, R, and it says, I won't count that one, a number between 1 and 100, please. If we just press enter, it also says, I won't count that one, a number between 1 and 100, please. So it's checking for a valid integer. All right, let's go back to the code. You can see at the bottom of the script, it calls the main function. So let's look at main. The first thing that happens in main is we define or declare four variables. Number gets random.randint1, 1, 100. So we saw random in the last video. We import random at the top, and randint just grabs a number between the low and the high, between 1 and 100, and it grabs an integer. So that gets assigned to number. Then guessed number gets false, so that's tracking whether or not the user has guessed the number yet. And then guess gets input guess a number between 1 and 100. So this is the first prompt before the while loop. The user then inputs a number, and also we set num guesses to zero. That's going to track the number of guesses. So now our while loop, while not guess number, while the user hasn't guessed the number yet, if not is valid num with the argument guess. So we're taking what the user input for their guess, and we're passing it to the is valid num function. So let's look at is valid num. Is valid num takes s, which is a string, and it says if s is digit, the is digit method returns true if there's at least one character in s and all the characters in s are digits. So if it's a digit, then we'll also check whether int s, whether s converted to an integer, is between 1 and 100. So if both those conditions are true, we'll return true. Else, we're looking at something that's either not a number or it's not between 1 and 100. And in that case, we'll return false. So let's go back to where that was called. Okay, if not is valid num guess, then we're going to set guess to input, I won't count that one, a number between 1 and 100, please. And we'll continue. Continue means that we'll move on to the next uh, iteration of the while loop without going further in, in this iteration. So it won't do any of this this time. It'll just move to the next iteration after prompting the user uh, for another number. So else, so this is a case where it is a valid number, num guesses plus equals one. So we're tracking the number of guesses and num guesses, and we're going to add one to that. And then guess gets int guess. So we int whatever they put in and we sign that back to guess so that we can look at it as an integer rather than as a string from here on. So then if guess is less than the number, we set guess to input too low, guess again. Else if guess is greater than the number, we set guess to input too high, guess again. Else, that means it's not higher or lower, so that's the number. We print you got it in num guesses, guesses. And then we set guess number to true, which will break us out of the while loop and drop us to this line print. Thanks for playing. And that's all there is to that one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>